Okay, so now let's use I in some real mathematical situation. So we're gonna solve this x squared plus four equals zero. So x squared is gonna equal a negative four, and then you're gonna square root both sides. Because you put the square root on the paper, it wasn't there to start with, you have to take care of the fact that the square root of four is plus or minus two. So x is gonna equal plus or minus two I. And that's really important because the degree of this polynomial right here is two, which means you have to account for two zeros. Well, this polynomial or this quadratic is gonna have two zeros, a plus two i and a minus two i. And just a little side note, if you think about transformations, we know that this quadratic has been moved up four units. Well, zeros are roots for like x-intercepts, so this doesn't have any x-intercepts. Um, but we still have to account for the roots of the zeros, and since this doesn't have any, or doesn't quote unquote appear to have any x-intercepts on this number line, this is the real number line, which means the two zeros are imaginary, they don't fall on this number line. Okay, so now we're gonna do another problem, and this one's not gonna factor so nicely, which means you're gonna use your best friend, the quadratic formula. So x is gonna equal the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus four times a times c, all divided by two times a. So then we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna get two plus or minus the square root of four times five is 20, 20 times three is 60. So we know this piece right here is 60. Four minus 60 is the square root of negative 56, all over six. And then you have to find some things that go into 56. Um, eight goes into 56, so you could do eight. So if we clean this up again, x equals two plus or minus. I'm just gonna rewrite this. We know we have an i, square root of seven, square root of eight, and the square root of eight is like two square roots of four. So if I go down here, the square root of four right here is two. Then I have my i, and this two and the seven both have to stay in the square root under the radical, so seven times two is 14, all over six, and then we can simplify it. Everything here reduces by a two, so one plus or minus i, or one i, square root of 14, all over three. This is your two answers. Um, this quadratic has two zeros, they're imaginary again, and just in good practice, we're gonna write it as close to standard form as we can. So there's one third plus root 14 over three i, and then one third minus square root of 14 over three i. Perfect, so now you can do all of your homework on page 107 and 108.